Okay, so I did all the sill, I did all the uh, the corner, I, I did the fucking flats of the pillars here. This, the back, this side, that. I did all that. All right, let me see. The door. We're gonna put a pocket door in there. And now I'm gonna go clean everything. And uh, that's what I've done today so far. It's five o'clock, that's six hours of work. Good morning in a row, same truck. Okay, look at the fucking kilometers because I am 12 kilometers short of three kilometers per liter right now. I know my van has absolutely no leaks in it. I have an HHO system hooked up to save 20 to 25% of my fucking fuel and these fuckers drained it all out. I was just working up on Riverview Road here in Bear River and they fucking drained my tank while I was working today. This guy's been sitting here for at least a minute and a half, parked beside me. And the minute I turn the fucking camera on is when he decides to fucking move. So what's he doing behind my fucking van? Because we didn't see him walk out, did we? Did we? Okay, so this just happened while I was on my way home from Digby, or on my way to my parents' place from Digby here. Um, this is fresh. This just happened on the highway, and you can see it's fucked. Now, does that look like somebody clipped it? Look at this. Come on. Look at that. You see that? Somebody clipped this with a clipper. They did this intentionally. We can see all sorts of fucking signs that this was done just today with a clipper. Somebody snipped it. All right, so I'm repairing my throttle cable. The fact is, is that I've called around to all the car companies, even to the auto wreckers. Nobody has my part. Uh, the closest place I can find it is Montreal. Um, they're ordering it in. I'm waiting 10 business days for it to come in, and I'm paying extra freight for 10 business days. Why the hell would it take even longer? Anyways, the fact is, is that I discovered this as well. Take a look here. See, come on, come on. That has also been found like this. Now the wires, they're not, uh, the wires aren't messed up. They see little radial wires inside that. Well, they're not messed up. It's just the plastic outer casing that's messed up here. It looks like somebody tried twisting my cable um, and it, it didn't break. I'm gonna mend this as well and uh, I'm gonna have no choice but to drive on this for the next 10 days until my new part comes in. But I am finding little cuts in the plastic, so I'm mending the little cuts in the plastic that don't have the radials done. But here, I found, uh, I found something where a little, a couple of the wires were cut as well over here. So I've uh, stitched it up and reinforced it uh, with a piece of steel so that it can't bend. It's not gonna bend or break. Now this over here, I'm still in the, I'm still gonna, in the middle of repairing this. What I, well it's not hopefully. I know that this will fix it temporarily until my new cable comes in. Uh, it's just, it's, it's just a matter of know-how. But, um, you know, this shows how desperate they're becoming. Uh, because I am getting the truth out and I am waking people up. The fact is, just before this accident happened, I was talking to a woman on the side of the street as I was gassing up about gang stalking because what they did is they emptied out my gas tank there and I just, and when I said I just refueled, uh, yesterday there, uh, well, there was a, there was a dog that looked a lot like mine 
running around and she was asking, she's on the side of the road looking around for people and she's like, is this your dog? And I'm like, no, it's not. But I found my dog unleashed and roaming around uh, when I came out, out of the house from work uh, after they drained my gas. So they obviously unleashed my dog and, and it ran away from, from my van. While they were uh, un while they were venting the fuel in my tank yesterday, and then on my way out, there's another dog that looks just like mine, and uh, I'm thinking what they were wanting to happen was my dog to run off and me to pick this other dog up, thinking it was mine. Uh, but no, that's not what happened. While I was fueling up, and this lady's asking me, "Is this my dog?" and I'm saying, "No." Uh, she's asking me if I need any help, and I say. Uh, and I tell her all about the gang stalking. I tell her all about the gang stalking and to check it out online and how it works and what's going on. And uh, and just after I told somebody, and I sounded sane about it. Like you gotta understand, I have a way of explaining things to people on the street so that they actually consider what I'm saying rather than going, oh, he's crazy. So. Uh, this is my talent. This this is what these gang stalkers are after me for in the first place is I have the ability to talk sense into people to wake them up from their dream. Holy shit. Okay. I just uh, There's a sudden downpour happening. There is thunder and lightning. Uh, I just had to run into my van with with my puppy because you can see like that's soaking wet. <laughs> it was water was leaking in from the corner here all the way down. The sky just opened up while I was underneath my hood there uh, Putting my uh, old throttle cable back in now that I've uh, mostly repaired it I just got to finish one little thing to that little bit in the, of the cable in the back there But the sky opened up and I literally had to run into the van uh, at This downpour here. This is nothing compared to what was just happening two minutes ago um, We should be seeing some thunder and lightning Alright, rain has picked up. Hey there, how you doing Kylie? This is Kylie. She's all like, oh, it's raining too much to be outside. <laughs> Look at the rain here. This is just crazy. Look at it just pounding off the pavement. Good grief this rain. For some reason my window's getting foggy. There's some thunder. Nope, no tape measure. We already taped every. We already uh, measured everything. 
Okay, so we're obviously we are building an enclosure for this well here. The parents well. That used to be the cap, but this was all breaking up. So we're building a new one. This cross piece is for all the electrical here. The rope to tell us how deep the well is. <laughs> I just wanted to hit record at this momentous time where my dad was screwing in over top of the well so that uh, in case he fell into the well I would be recording it at the time. <laughs> then of course I'd have to hit stop and call 911 or try to haul him out of the well myself which as you can see it's pretty deep so I mean <laughs> we'd have to leave him in there for about an hour or two while we figured out how to haul him out. <laughs> Kylie, Kylie's been rolling around on a rotten log in the woods and I suspect that it was poop on it. Kylie, come on, look how dirty she is. Kylie, come on. Oh, it's such a dirty dog. Ah. Now there was somebody sitting there waiting for me when I went past there to get some gas around the corner where that car is coming from. And now another car is parked there just as I'm putting gas in my van. Interesting. I just want to report this. I put uh, about 12 liters in at 496. We're now at 501. We're going to see how long it lasts. Look at our speed. They're actually speeding up right now. They were doing 35. Look at this bullshit. See, she was trying to fucking cross the road, then she noticed I had a camera on her and fucking walked away. Okay, I just got some propane. I got about 50 liters. And this is how it's reading. Ontario plates. He's doing 80 in a 100 zone after putting the fucking brakes on going downhill. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? 